and welcome to Market Chat. Despite a small yarding of 5,500 sheep, good local support led to a strong sale at Jamestown on Thursday last week. Landmark's Shannon Jeske said the overall market stayed firm. A feature was the dispersal from Pine Drive Trust at Yongilla, which sold well. Eldest Jamestown, Jack Coleman, said the market for lambs, while not in line with other markets, still held up, while ewes sold well. He said entries are already high for the feature ewe sales that are being held in September and October. Pine Tribe Trust sold 177 2015 drop ewes to the top of $180. PC Colbelt of Kimber offered a line of Dooney ewes that sold at $160. There were smaller lines of weathers and PC Colbelt sold 166 Dooney weathers to $94. Meanwhile, at the Mount Compass Weekly Prime Sale, there were 900 cattle yarded. Heavy steers were 10 to 15 cents cheaper, while all other types held firm. Heavy steers made $3.20 a kilogram to $3.50 while feeder steers made $3.50 to $3.80 and lightweight steers to go back out in the paddock made $3.50 to $3.90. Feeder heifers made $3.30 to $3.60 and lightweight heifers to go back in the paddock made up to $3.80. Good heavy cows made $2.50 to $2.90 and lightweight cows made from $1.80 to $2.40. Heavy bulls made from $2.60 to $2.80 and lightweight bulls made up to $3.10. That's it for this week. See you next time.